church, hope you're doing well. We're in another installment of our audacious devotions and today we're in this audacious life and we're thinking about how we can be seriously fun in our thought life. The Bible says this in Proverbs 17 verse 22. It says a cheerful heart is good medicine but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. wonder if you had a time where you've taken yourself too seriously. I reckon all of us have in life, if we're honest, with the raging demands of work, of family, of friends, tasks, responsibilities, demands, so much going on, it can feel like there's a never ending cycle of responsibility, pressure and things that need to be done. We can easily fall into the trap, can't we? Thinking that everything depends on us. That if we don't achieve what we're meant to achieve and tick those boxes, then the whole world will fall apart. It's even easier then to take on the weights and the burdens of life in a never-ending intensity cycle. Yes, life is purposeful. Yes, life is missional. Yes, we have a mission to reach the lost and bring people into relationship with God. It's important, of course. But I want to suggest today that too much intensity can crush the joy of humanity. Proverbs expands that the antidote to a crushed up spirit is a cheerful heart. If I allow the intensity of life to crush my spirit, it will ultimately dry up my life. I will exist, but I will no longer live. I will endure life, but I will no longer enjoy life. But you and I today, church and friends watching, we were created to live a life and a life to the full, as Jesus points out in John 10. 10. We were created to enjoy God, enjoy his people and enjoy this life. Furthermore, Ecclesiastes in chapter 2 verses 24 to 25 says this, says a person can do nothing better than to eat and drink and find satisfaction in their own toil. This too, I see, is from the hand of God. For without him, who can find enjoyment? I wonder today, is your thought life full of stress, worry and anxiety, seriousness and pressure? I want to suggest today, Make planning and plotting fun in your life a priority. Plan fun and plan cheer into your routine. Become seriously fun in your thought life and strategize to have fun as much as you think about the pressures, the work, the demands of life. I reckon today the medicine we all need to drip into our bloodstream is a good dose of cheer. Hey, come on, how many people are spending time each week focusing on goals, on family, on priorities, things that are important, but ultimately, if they're intense all of the time, they suck out the life from us. Church, we've got to become ruthless at making sure we are seriously fun in our thought life and enjoying this incredible gift of life that God has given us. You were created not to endure life, but to enjoy life. Today, church, take a moment this morning, this afternoon, this evening, whenever you're watching or listening to this, and think about how you can plan fun into this week. How you can let that good dose of medicine come dripping into your bloodstream. That medicine of cheer and fun. In your family, in your work in your studies, in your business, in whatever you do this week, make it a priority in your thought life, in growing in wisdom and growing in your thoughts to plan and prioritize fun. I reckon your work life would be more successful. You'd enjoy life even more. In fact, the things that you put energy and time into in building your world and the world around you would become more fruitful, more efficient and more effective because you'd operate from a place of enjoyment, of cheer, and of fun. Too much intensity crushes the joy 
of humanity. The Bible says a cheerful heart is good medicine. So come on, make a decision today to take some good medicine at this point in your week and be seriously fun in Jesus' name. Church, have a great day, whatever you're up to, and let's become serious at planning fun into our life. See you soon.